Welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. I'm currently in a Spanish island. Before I come up close and personal, it's been a minute. Really nice where I'm staying. I just got myself a little villa with the family and stuff. So, you know, it's nice just chilling here. And I just wanted to, uh, you know, come up close and personal, talk to you. How are you doing? You good? How are you coping right now with the crypto space? Because over the last few days, we've seen uh, prices fall down. So if you're catching the wind, I haven't got like a, a wind buff. I'm just like, you know, like sometimes you get like the little microphones, you can put like a little buffer, fluffy thing. I haven't got that. So it's like I'm kind of fighting against the wind. Markets have gone down over the last few days and sometimes that can get people shook. I know, it can. But how are you coping? I want to know, drop your comments down below and let me know how you're coping. What are you doing with your whole, the whole meme thing? Because obviously memes, high risk, and the reason I bring up the memes is because it is, is, is and I'm going to come over here actually because that wind is just too much. You hear it? There you go. Memes are just incredibly high risk. And I, it, they've been so favorable in the last few months. And patrons in my group have been screaming at me, calling for as much micro cap, as low, you know, biohazard memes sh to share as much as I possibly can. And I, I love to share that. I love to give and help people uh, have the opportunity to make money because, you know, recently with meme coins, it's been blessed. You know, it's been the hottest trend of 2024. So it's been easy for me to share meme coins. But at some point, I know that it's going to change. I know that the, you know, the, the memes is going to slowly calm down and cool off. And you can kind of start to see it. Um, what well, I see it. If you're, you know, a professional uh, a trader, shall I say, I don't know, do I class myself as a professional? Well, I have, I've got a good insight. And what, what I notice is that when something's about to cool off, especially with memes, people just get in and out straight away. They don't care to hold coins long. They don't want to. Unless they're in a decent meme, like, you know, your peppies or something like that. They don't want to hold coins long. They want to get in and out. And that's when you can tell when something's probably about to die down. Which then means if memes are going to die down, what's coming next? So when I ask you how you're coping with it, is your portfolio only meme coins? Because if it is, then you're going to have to switch up your portfolio because I don't think that's a healthy portfolio. Don't get me wrong. I've been sharing portfolios, like a, a, a meme portfolio that you can have as an investment if you want. Remember, they're extremely high risk. So you have to make sure that if you're investing in just all crypto in general, but more so memes, especially with the micro caps as well, because that's the only way to make massive money in memes. You have to put what you can afford to lose. And I say that a lot on my channel. I, you know, I keep saying, invest what you can afford to lose. Biohazard, extreme high risk. Some of you, I don't know. I feel like some of you just hear that. I feel like it's like you watch the channel and it just becomes like a, a saying on the channel. It's like, oh yeah, that's his intro. That's his intro. So, you know, it's just, it's just part of his intro. Yeah, it is. But I really mean it. You, you have to be prepared to lose the lot. So everybody is going to have a different threshold. My threshold when it comes to investing in memes, because I feel like maybe I've got a bit more money than the average person that, well, I still see myself as average, but I'm just saying, like, some people might only have $20, $50. Some people have $100. And no matter how much money I have, $400, two to $400 is my th uh, threshold. And that's sort of where I want to be. Like, if I lose the lot, fine, I've lost it. But if I put that $400 in on a, a 200K cap, a 600K market cap, and then that 600K goes to 60 million, I make 100 times my money. The $400 goes to $40,000, and I'm happy with that. And I think that's another thing. It's like knowing when to be happy, knowing when you should actually take profits. So that's, that's, again, it's the hardest thing. Because you could buy a coin... That could just, sh especially these, with these new coins as well, they're extremely volatile. You could buy it, it could shoot up instantly. Double your money, 3x, 5x, but when do you take profits? It's hard. Which is why, you know, the Peppy guy, he made millions because he put the tiniest bit amount, which he wasn't even fussed. If he put $25, he didn't even care. If it fell to zero, fine. So when I say put what you're going to afford to lose, extreme high risk, you know, make sure you can handle the volatility kind of thing. You want to make sure that if you're getting in meme coins, that they are just, you know, just small amounts of what you really can afford to lose, I think. 
And for most people, it might just be $25. Well, in, in that case, the guy who made millions on Pepe, for him, it was, or her, whoever it is, I think it's him, it was just $25. So where are you right now with your portfolio? How is it looking for you? Have you become a millionaire yet? <laughs> you could spend your whole life enjoying memes. And I know memes just seems to be the talk. And you're seeing different types of variants. I'm going to keep sharing memes. Don't get me wrong, I will keep sharing them. But there will be a change. And I think we'd be silly to think that there's not going to be a change in the market and to think that we won't see uh, gaming come alive, AI coins come alive. So please, please bag up on these decent projects because when smart money comes out of meme coins and they no longer want to touch meme coins for a while, probably every favorite meme coin that you have will probably just get drained unless they have an insane strong narrative that can stand tall yeah so for me i you know if i'm playing about with some high risk memes that i don't know what i'm going to make out of them 400 quid if it goes great if it falls if i've lost it fine i've put 400 quid in the last in the last week or so in different t types of coins and they've fallen and it is what it is i've lost it cool and I don't blame anyone. I can't blame anyone. It's my fault. That's what I wanted to lose. That's what I thought I could afford to lose, which is a lot, you know, because you know, if you do five projects, four, eight, twelve, six, it's just two grand gone. But in the long run, I know I'm going to find one, which I have many a times, that will just fly. And when it flies, it makes massive gains. Yeah. So this is why I like to keep sharing them. Have a diverse portfolio, please. Please do. It's so important. It's so, if, because some people come in and all they want to do is talk about memes. They just want to buy meme coins. Show me another meme coin on base. Show me another meme on Solana. But as fun as they are, you, you, have, you don't want to have a, a toxic... That's the only thing I can play. A biohazard toxic portfolio. Like if you, you ask the, port, the, the... I don't know if you've seen the video yet. I've got a video coming how I spent huge amounts of money in the last uh, two weeks. Maybe about a week and a half, two weeks. And these coins that I've invested it in, like seriously pay attention. I spent uh, huge amounts of money into projects that I think can last uh, long term that can make big gains. And it's not me, 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 me. When I share you memes on my channel, I'm having fun with it. Like any other influencer, like any other person, we are having fun with it. And again, if I put $400 and it falls to zero, fine i had fun with it pissed me off but ugh, is what it is so um have a, a strong diverse portfolio i'm gonna bring some videos i had someone in the i think it was in the patreon asking can i bring a video on mid caps you know because a lot of the time i'm sharing uh low cap projects more recently because the meme has been because i'm so grateful meme season has been blessed like meme season has just given every influencer that likes to talk about lower because back in the day you couldn't do that or unless you're someone like me or, you know, the other people, you couldn't talk about such low market caps because it's like, oh, why are they talking about these low market caps? They're high risk. But they've become so damn favorable right now with the average person, which is why you're seeing people get involved on pump fund sites like that, because people want to get in on the tiniest market caps. And hopefully, maybe if you're lucky, put five dollars and it turns to 50 grand <laughs> or five grand. So and it's possible. We know, we, this is why you stick around, because you know memes make it possible. And that's a call, that M, I'm thinking that memes make it possible, M-M-I-P. They should make a meme, call, meme coin called M -M -M MIP, MIP, I don't know that. Memes make it possible, because it does, it gives people the opportunity to, it's like you're paying up, you're buying a lottery ticket, but you have the chance to actually flip and make some money off this lottery ticket. Not just a stupid little two pound scratch card or get a free lucky dip, you know what I mean? So um, I'm very diverse. My portfolio has, and I might bring another video actually, I might bring an update on my, my portfolio just so you guys can see like when, I'm, when I am actually investing big money, it's going into decent projects. I'm having fun with these memes. If I make a little five grand or a little four grand or something, I'll put it into decent projects that are gonna see me through long term. Like your blender, like PlayZap, like, I don't know, just I'm trying to think off the top of my head, these decent projects, Node AI, ones that can hold strong. And I think you should do the same. So, yeah, I just wanted to touch down on you with this. Might bring another little video. It's kind of nice, like, here's a nice little background and stuff. Might bring another, another nice little video like this. Just, I don't know what to talk about. Just thought I want to share myself with you and just, like, yeah, come up close and personal. It's been a minute. 
So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it here. <laughs> I'm going to bring another video. Let me think of what to think about, what to talk about. Just talk about it. so much nonsense. <laughs> but it's helpful nonsense. So if it's helpful, drop that like, give me a subscribe. Have a great day. See you in my next video. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>